Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. Today I wanted to show you an automatic system backup and restore tool that you can install in Zorin OS. It actually works on pretty much any Linux distribution and it even comes installed by default on some. But since we've been talking about Zorin on the channel here, as this is how you do it in Zorin OS. And you don't have to get out your terminal or do any commands or anything. You can just go right to the software app. And you want to do a search. You want to search for a program called Time Shift. And there it is. And install that thing. And it shouldn't take too long to install. You have to put in your password. And this is a utility for making backups of your system. Um, a lot of times, especially if you're new to Linux, you can, <clears throat> if, especially if you're fuddling around in the terminal, you can accidentally do something to destroy your system pretty easily. But with a tool like this, you might be able to minimize those problems. So I got installed. I think I clicked on launch, but maybe I didn't. It's just taking a minute. I am running this within a virtual machine. Keep that in mind. But this is taking a long time. Here we go. Okay. So when you first start up Time Shift, you're going to get the Setup Wizard. And you can keep this uh, on the R-Sync as default. Just say Next. What it's going to do, it's going to analyze what all you have installed on your system. And it's going to kind of determine what kind of a snapshot, snapshot size it's going to need. As you see, this doesn't take all too long. Okay, and so I'm I have this on a uh, I made my virtual hard drive 70 gigs about. So we're gonna say what this wants to know is where you want to save your uh, snapshot. Now I don't have any on this virtual machine. I don't have a secondary hard drive or anything. Normally, it makes more sense to me if you have an external hard drive plugged in or a USB stick plugged in, you're probably going to want to use that as a location for your backup. I'm just going to be putting this on the actual device. And here you can uh, choose how often you want it to back up your system. Monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, every time you start up. You know, this is your own judgment call. If you're going to be doing a lot of tinkering, you can do daily. Um... I'd probably be more of a weekly person, but you know, that's all up to you. You can always go back and make changes later. So you say next. Now here's another thing. Um, by default, it's not going to back up the files that are in your home directory. And what do I mean by home directory on Linux? When you open the file browser, these folders you see here, your documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, etc. This is your home directory. It's similar to what you have on a Mac OS. This stuff will not be backed up by default. If you want to back it up, if you have more than one user on your computer, all their home directories are going to show up here. The root home directory, normally you're not going to be saving files in there. But if you want to back up your own home directory, you'd click that. You could say include only the hidden files or include all files. If you wanted to back up your documents, I'd say include all files. The thing about hidden files is a lot of times applications save their configuration information into your home directory and it says hidden files. And to show you that, if you go over to your files and you say show hidden files, look at all these folders that are here. Config is where a lot of your applications store their settings. And so that might be one reason why you'd want to do only the hidden files. But if you're saving a lot of stuff to your home directory, you might as well include all files as well. You say next and the setup's complete. Now, it will be set up to automatically back up your system at the interval specified. You can also open the program and say create to do a backup right then and there. As you can see, it doesn't really take that long, especially um, when this is kind of a fresh install, so I don't have that many files on the system yet. And this would normally happen in the background, so you wouldn't even notice it happening. But, uh, of course, it looks like as the time goes up, this is probably going to take more than 10 minutes. We're not going to sit here and watch it. But if several backups have been made, there are, your snapshots are going to show up in this application. And if you have to go back to restore one, you can see the restore. I can't click on it now because it's doing this. But you could select which snapshot you wanted to restore, and you could click on it and do restore. And it restore your system at that point. 
So this is a handy utility. I know Mac OS and Windows both have system recovery options. Here's a way you can easily get one on Zorn OS or really any Linux distribution. It's called Time Shift. As you saw, it's really quick and easy to set up and it can save you when you're in a bind on your Linux system. So go ahead and give it a try. If there's anything else you want me to try out on Zorn OS, let me know. Subscribe to the channel. We talk a lot about Chrome OS Flex, but also some Linux too and some of my software development things. It's a fun channel. Like the video if you want, I'd appreciate it. And other than that, I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.